Uh, what about what about uh, 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 Eric uh, or Don Jr.? Pardon him. What about Melania? Pardon him. What about Baron? Pardon him. Pardon everybody. It's a great column. It's very popular. People are uh, people are talking about it. They're laughing. They're crying. They're sharing feelings. And that's what we're going to be doing here for the next three hours. What a lineup we have. Representative Chip Roy of Texas, Michael Oren, Senator Rick Scott, one of my favorites, even though he was in the Navy. We won't hold that against him. My pal Ned Ryan, Senator Jim Talent, who is amazingly woke. We've got David Limbaugh and Tom Emmer, the genius who put together the congressional counterattack that has come so tantalizingly close to taking the House back from that uh, that ubiquitous Herodin, Nancy Pelosi. Uh, that wasn't nice. That wasn't nice. Kurt, shame on you. It's a time of unity, people. It's a time of feelings. It's a time of love. It's Unity Fest 2020. Are you feeling unification curious, folks? I know I am. And I know Joy Behar is. Can we have cut 25 for some heavy-duty unity? I mean, what do you think Mitch is up to here, Joy? Was he sincere or was he concerned about, uh, you know, who? What, what do you think the story is? Well, well, I don't know what he's up to because I'm not a criminal profiler. But um, it looks as though uh, what he's doing right now is putting him in a corner with the Georgian Republicans who are Trump supporters, because now he's got he's saying the truth, which, by the way, I, he gets no credit for saying the truth. Putting him in a corner, putting Mitch McConnell in a corner. Nobody puts the murder turtle in a corner, especially here on the Hugh Hewitt radio program. And definitely not with guest host Kurt Schlichter. That's me. Are you feeling unification-y? I am. I certainly am after that. I mean, that's uh, OK. Maybe maybe that was a uh, an exception to the rule because we are unifying it all up here. Let's look at Axios. Uh, they've got a scoop and I can't actually read what was said. It's top Biden aides blank quote is under fire. It's by Hans Nichols and friend of the show, Jonathan Swan. And uh, here's how it goes. Some advisors close to president elect Biden asterisk. I will always add an asterisk, uh, are frustrated over a Glamour magazine interview in which incoming White House Deputy Chief of Staff Jen O'Malley Dillon referred to Republicans on Capitol Hill as blankers. Uh, that, I'm not sure that's all uh, unification-y. Uh, why it matters. Biden campaigned for the presidency by promising to, quote, restore the soul of America. Uh, I, I didn't know my soul needed restored, but okay. And... Not to question the motives of political opponents, whom he insists aren't enemies. Fighting words from a high-level staffer could give Republicans ammunition to cast doubt on Biden's sincerity. Yeah. Yeah, it took Jen O'Malley Dillon's quote for, for us to cast doubt on uh, Biden's sincerity, you know, as he's in his campaign to restore our soul through the power of unity. Uh, after the Electoral College affirmed Biden's victory on Monday, uh, I forgot the asterisk after Biden, uh, he promised to, quote, turn the page, unquote, on the campaign and, quote, heal the country. He's going to heal the country, folks, through the power of unity. This is unity, you blankers. Some donors want O'Malley Dillon, his campaign manager, to apologize to Biden and perhaps to congressional Republicans. OK, I. I I feel that I need to explain how apologies work. Because if you're going to call me a blanker, I would think that I am due the apology. Not like some other guy who'd prefer that you not pull the mask off the seething hatred he's attempting to hide. Because let's face it, they don't like us. They don't like us. They want us disenfranchised disempowered and some of them want even worse are you on twitter i'm on twitter at kurt schlichter you should follow me uh caution i work a little blue but uh if you're on twitter you know there are people out there who uh, uh who uh really uh you really seem to prefer that uh we not you know live and uh it's uh, uh you know but 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 unity folks there's a bunch of unity going on. Let's continue with this uh, 
uh, Axios article, top aides blanker quote is under fire between the lines. This is one of the first signs of division in a team that's prided itself through the campaign and transition on unity. Wait a minute. Unity in the campaign, not like unity among us. Uh, message discipline and minimal leaks and is now preparing to govern. Asterisk. For those of us who, from day one, bought into Biden's calls for civility and a review, return to normalcy, this isn't just beyond the pale. It's just plain stupid, said one Biden donor. The other side. She could have used a different adjective. Sure, said one Biden official. But you know, Jed, she's real. She's authentic. She says how it is. Okay. So... Basically, these calls for unity are a bunch of, you know, Jerry Nadler. It's a bunch of Jerry Nadler. It's a, come on. Come on. Look, I, I, I don't want to unify. I don't believe we should be unified. What, Kurt, you hate unity? I bet you hate puppies, too. I love puppies. My, look. My record on puppies is unimpeachable. I am pro-puppies. But unification, I don't want to be unified. I want a vigorous debate over every issue with, with strong advocates making their case so I and you and the rest of us can decide on the best course of action because we've heard all sides. The purpose of unity is to shut up dissenters. Unify. Don't make trouble. Get together. Bring it in for the win. We're a team. I'm not a team. I'm not a team. I'm not a supporter of Biden, and I want him to fail in everything he does. Pretty much. I mean, you know, statistically, he's got to do something I agree with. But what's that going to be? Re-embrace the climate cult? I don't want him to succeed in that. Cut the military budget to the bone? I don't want him to succeed in that. Screw up the Middle East? And give more money to the mullahs? Nope, don't, nope, don't want, don't, nope, not you fine around that. Unity is a scam. It's a way to shut us up. It's a way to say, well, all you people who supported President Trump, we want you to come around. And they, and they, and they say it. They say it right here in this, uh, in this article. They say that uh, uh, da, da, da. Biden wants to protect a, project a message that Republicans aren't bad people. And then when Donald Trump departs the scene, they may have an epiphany. I don't need an epiphany. I know you suck. President Biden asterisk, you and your whole commie cadre. Okay, I'm not unifying. And this, this baloney about how somehow when Donald Trump goes away, we're all going to get better and we're all going to start... You know, rowing in the same direction, rallying around him. You want unity. What are you giving up, Joe Biden? What are you giving up? What do I get? What is important to you that you will forego in order to buy my trust? Are you going to not ban my religion? Are you not going to ban my guns? What's important to you that you're going to say, well, this is important to the people who are normal patriotic Americans, and to reach out to them, I am going to forego it as a show of good faith. The answer is nothing, because he's not going to do that. But come on. He wants us to give up. He wants us to submit. He wants us to roll over. Yeah, I don't play that. You don't play that. We certainly don't play that here in the Relief Factor studio 